friends in this programming tutorial we are going to write a C program to check whether a number is palindrome or not so let's first understand what is a palindrome number a palindrome number is a number that remains same when its digits are reversed so let me take an example suppose if I input 11 then if if I reverse 11 the digit remain the number remains same 11 take another example 16 reverse of a 16 is 61 so when I when I reverse uh, 16 then it becomes 61 so uh, 16 and 61 is not equal it's not a palindrome take another example 121 if I reverse this number it is again 121 so it's a palindrome if instead if I take 122 so if I reverse this number 221 so 122 and 221 it's it is uh, not equal so it's not a palindrome so palindrome is a number that remains same if I reverse any number and it is same as an input number then it's a palindrome so now you un you have understood what is palindrome so how do you how do we check whether a number is palindrome or a palindrome or not so think for a moment so the log logic is very simple uh, so how do we check how do we check whether a number is pal palindrome or not? So simple. First, take take an input number. Take an input number. Rever reverse that number. that number and after reversing a number compare input number and reverse of an input number if both are equal then enter number is a palindrome so uh, let's suppose if I input 116 and I I do a reverse of 16 which is 61 if I compare both number then <laughs> it is not equal so it's not a palindrome so uh, we have discussed the logic of a palindrome let's write a program so uh, let's uh, start by declaring some variable in num term reverse digit let's first take a input number input number Number. Now we uh, let's assign input number in time as we are going to find the reverse of that number and now when while Time if a number is greater than zero, it's a condition. Then digit equal first find the digit of a number. Then reverse reverse into Don't worry if you did not understand the logic. Uh, it's a logic to reverse a number. So uh, let's suppose we have input 121. So in first iteration, if I find the remainder of a number which is 1, so initially let's assign reverse to 0. So 
the value of reverse is 0 to so 0 into 10 it is 0 plus 1 so now the value of reverse is 1 if I divide 121 by 10 then it will become 12 uh, in second iteration 12 is greater than 0 yes then uh, find the remainder of a 12 which is 2 the value of reverse is 1 1 into 10 10 plus 2 which is 12 now uh, 12 divided by 10 the number becomes 1 1 is greater than 0 yes remainder of a 1 if I were then 12 into 10 plus 1 which is 121 and if I divide by 10 then number becomes 0 now this condition becomes false and we get this number 121 so in this way uh, we can find the reverse of a number if original number equal to reverse of a number then enter number is a palindrome palindrome number else else it is not a palindrome number so this is the logic of this program and now let's run and execute I have already let's enter a number 121 let's execute so 121 is a palindrome let's try with another input 16 16 is not a palindrome. Let's uh, take another random number 198. So 198 is not a palindrome. 222. 222 is a palindrome number. So uh, I hope you have understood this program and the concept of a palindrome number. For more such videos, you can subscribe our youtube channel or you can visit uh, www.cprogrammingcode.com for more such videos thanks for watching this video